For today's assignment, we're going to look at the evolution of TV, where it started and where it's going. So first, here's a little video. The introduction of OLED TV is ushering in a new category of television. But how did we get here? After a spacewalk, an astronaut observed, it is pitch black outside. Not the color black, but rather a complete absence of light. Our perspective has evolved at an incredible pace in the past 50 years. 30 years before we walked on the moon, humankind got its first look at television in the 1939 New York World's Fair. This was a revolution in technology. But the world we see is in color, not black and white. 14 years later, a color image was produced by broadcasting three monochrome images simultaneously. Of course, we did not stop here. As our viewpoint evolved, so did our quest for more detail and a clearer view of our world. We were on a mission to reach higher contrast ratios, superior color gamut, and more energy efficiency. As a result, the 1980s welcomed the development of plasma and liquid crystal display televisions. But LCD crystals don't produce their own light. A dedicated light source is needed, making them thicker, heavier, and unable to produce a perfect black. Then came HDTV, a new digital standard with quadruple the resolution, 1,080 lines per frame, and a vastly clearer picture. With the introduction of the LED as the light source, LCD televisions became thinner brighter and crisper. The majority of new TVs manufactured and sold today fall into the category of LED-lit LCDs. But because of the backlight, they can never achieve a true black. Also, their contrast ratio is limited, especially when viewed off-center. Picture quality had hit a ceiling, and for things to truly evolve, a new technology was needed. Which brings us to today large-screen organic light-emitting diode displays. OLED TVs were unveiled in 2013. OLED uses an organic substance that glows when electric current is introduced, with no need for a backlight. The TV is only 6 millimeters thick and weighs just 47 pounds for a 65-inch screen. Individual pixels can now switch off for another revolution in perspective. Perfect. That means LG OLED TV achieves infinite contrast, extraordinary color gamut, and an exceptionally wide viewing angle. LG OLED TV, a revolutionary technology. Now, granted that that whole thing was an advertisement for OLED TV, uh, it brings up a good point. We're really putting a lot of focus and energy and money uh, into the evolution of television. Um, and so what we're going to do now is I want you to do some research on your own uh, with the websites I will provide for you to go and um, find out what are some of the new TVs that are coming into play. And when you find uh, an article that you like, you're going to go to your notebook and you're going to fill in the research section here, the future of TV. Now you need to do at least two quotes um, on your own and fill in the website link and fill in uh, these two boxes as well for two different quotes. Now they can be from the same site um, or you can kind of get one quote from one site and one from another. So on Google Classroom, uh, I have uh, links to three different articles. All right. Now remember, you only have to pull uh, two quotes. Uh, one quote can be from two articles or two quotes can be from one article. Uh, one article. So let's look at the um, instruction. It says, scan through some of the articles posted here to find two quotes about the future of TV to put in your notebook. So here are the three articles. This one is, the future of TV includes VR, AR, holograms. All right, so that's a pretty cool article. This one is 10 concept TVs that will make you want the future right now. 
And this last one is the future of TV, Ultra HD, HDR, Sky Q, Quantum Dot, and more. These are all different kinds of TVs that are coming out. So um, click on them, on the ones that interest you, scan through it. Remember, you do not have to read the full article because um, some of these are quite long, but skim through it. You'll notice that, like, for example, when I come to this one, All right, uh, I see the title here. Your TV will pack more than just additional pixels. And then I go through, and then there's various um, paragraphs here, right? So obviously there's an intro, and then it um, there's there's headings. Bitter rivalry, brilliant innovation. Well, okay, that seems interesting. I can scroll down. It's going to show some cool pictures. Um, I can uh, go, and there's actually some images here that show you the differences in the new TVs that are coming out. Uh, the fight for smarter TV. Oh, maybe that interests me. So maybe I'll read this section only. All right. Um, and so you can do the same thing with all the articles. Let's click on this one here. All right, this one says 10 concepts, um, 10 concept TVs that will make you with the future right now. All right. And so ooh, Toshiba Twitter TV. What is that? So maybe I can just read that one. Uh, maybe this one. Oh, bendable TV. Ah, oh, that doesn't really interest me. Uh, but you can go into this one with crystals. This TV has crystals in it. All right, and then you can go through and kind of just read and find um, two quotes that would interest you to make sure you put in your uh, your notebook. All right, so that is the assignment. You are expected to uh, work at a voice level zero um, for the rest of the period as you finish this assignment.